finished in 1980 and five years later in 1985 the dictator Enver Hoxha died so he never has been here inside this tunnel. This is the energy room and in here it's a generator. One part of the generator is missing because the population destroyed it. This generator was a gift from Czechoslovakia to Albania. It was produced in 1968, work it with diesel. But even that the tunnel never was used, because the war never happened, here has been only the soldiers to practice, to be ready, uh, to see if the machine gonna work, if they gonna have any problem or something. And in here, it's a false alarm. The soldiers just put this down, and the alarm goes to the castle because it's the highest point of the city and all the members of the government on that time, they can hear the alarm from there. And we are 80 meters under the castle, but are not connected together. This tunnel is not connected with the castle. In this direction in here, it's one of the other entries or exit. So the tunnel in total has four entries or exit and three of them goes behind the building that you bought the ticket mm -hmm. because on that time they have it, the office there and it was the quickly way to come here and to hide in here. If you want to go there to see it, you need just a lighter. Take your time and go to wait you just right here. In here must be anti-atomic doors in fact, but uh, are not anymore because the population destroyed it. One kilometer long. Wow. <laughs> so this is the reason why it's always with the tour guide. Yes. <laughs> because it's no information and you're gonna get lost very easy sure. here. <laughs> so in this point right here, the tunnel is separated in two corridors. Because this corridor in here belongs to the Prime Secretary. So Prime Secretary room is one of the most important rooms here inside the tunnel and all the departments that he needed on that time. And this one in here belongs to the mayor of the city and all the departments that he needed. In the door is the name of each department, but the name on the door is not so clear because it's destroyed by the time here. The most of the rooms was for the soldiers and for the military because they're gonna need it here. The other rooms, the information room, administration room, plans room, and in one room has to stay two or three person inside. In the end, we're gonna see this corridor. Now, let's go from this way and see Prime Secretary room. Okay, so, Prime Secretary gonna has his own room, his private room, has to sleep there all the night. In the morning has to sit here and to work about the objective of the day. And only the most important rooms are painted in this color, in green. 
In fact, it's nothing so specific with the color. They just want to feel important and to do the difference between the other rooms. And the person here in the photo is the dictator and Hoja. He died 76 years old because he was sick with diabetes. And in the wall, of course, must be the photo of the dictator because it was like an honor to have his photo here inside the room. Even that the tunnel never was used, this was the negative part. But the positive part is that you like it so much and <laughs> it's like attraction for you. Okay, so now, who wants to be the future dictator? <laughs> so if you want it, uh, you can sit here to take photo. You can use the telephone, it's not working, so don't ask for help. <laughs> and feel free to take photo here. Okay, so this is the conference room. It's the biggest room all over the tunnel and they gonna organize meetings every day in here and to discuss about the objective of the day. All the tunnel, it's one kilometer long and the temperature here, it's always 16 degrees. 16 degrees, it's a little bit fresh in the summer and a little bit warm in the winter. I prefer to stay here in the summer. <laughs> uh, right behind you are some photos of Girocastra city, how it was before the city. But this tunnel has so much humidity here and the photos are not so clear. If you want it, you can use it your flash to see something in there or to get an idea. So in there, uh, it's right and like it's like a propaganda that uh, the construction is one of the most uh, economic that depends in our economic on that time. And in the end, it's uh, the name of the dictator and Verhoja. Okay, so now we're gonna see the tank of the water. In there, it's a little bit dark. You need a lighter, and be careful to the stairs, please. So, behind this wall, they collected the water from the castle and it's like a big room or like a big swimming pool. They can use it, the water only to clean here inside the tunnel because to drink it, they have it the storage room and they have it enough water in there. Do you want to see what's behind this wall? You can climb here and see it. I'm going to describe to you. It's like a big room, empty, darkness. <laughs> you can see some small stalactite and nothing else in there. But I know that your curiosity is much bigger, so you can come here and see what's behind this wall. <laughs> yes, you're gonna need your phone. <laughs> you have to believe me. <laughs> so, in here, it's the exit that goes in the different direction. So, this is the longest tunnel and it's separated in two parts. One part goes uh, behind Chayupi Hotel. Chayupi Hotel is in the square of Cherchistopoli and the square right now is under reconstruction. It was an important hotel on that time. In the case that someone important sleep there, they have the opportunity to come here quickly and to hide in here. The other part goes under the center of the old bazaar. I don't know if you have seen the mosque that is in there. Uh, so uh, when you're gonna be to the center of the old bazaar, you're gonna see the mosque. Under the mosque, it's a small bar. In the end of the bar, 
is the other door that is connected with this tunnel. But by the time this tunnel is collapsed in the middle and it's not so safe to go there, you're gonna see it only from here. Okay, now is the time to see the toilets. 200 person, of course, they're gonna need the toilets. Only three toilets for 200 person and it's like the Ottoman style or Turkish style just a hole in the ground in here must be the showers but the population destroyed it mm -hmm. two toilets in here was only for the soldiers the next door was only for the important person so prime secretary and the mayor of the city there and the rest in here <laughs> So, three toilets, 200 person, and they're gonna hide here for three months. <laughs> okay, so now the last room that we're gonna see is the kitchen, and after that we have to go out of the tunnel. After that you're gonna be free. <laughs> if you wanted to stay here five minutes more to take some photo or to be alone, So this is the kitchen and as you can see it's a small kitchen for 200 person they just have to get the food here and after that they can eat it to their rooms and they're gonna eat only conserved food that it was quickly to eat they didn't need it to cook it so much when the soldiers do the practice in here they replace it the food every three months to be ready because who knows when the work gonna happen and this happened for 11 years. Wow. So the practice happened for 11 years until 1991 when the communism system fell down. Okay, do you want to eat something? <laughs> I can find some food there. I can give it to you like a gift. <laughs> so now, do you miss your freedom? <laughs> can you tell me where are you from? Uh, time, uh, you're first. We're from Brazil. It's your first time here? Yes. Yes, yeah, it's our first time here. You like it, your casa? Yes, we arrived yesterday and it's really beautiful. But uh, what was your opinion before to come here? Um, we were in Terena before, so we had the opportunity to see the bunker there as well and learn more about the history. And one thing that I noticed is that we didn't know anything about Albania history before. So a lot of bad things happened here, like a lot of people got hurt and we didn't know about that. So it was something new and I'm really happy that we had the opportunity to learn more about it. Uh, where are you from? You're from oh, Brazil too? from Brazil, yeah. Okay. I'm her sister. You are sisters. <laughs> You are together, you travel together? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, hello. <laughs> we went to Macedonia before and now here in Albania. We're from Dubai, me and my wife. We are traveling together. So, yeah, uh, you know, we've heard lots about Albania from a lot of friends from Dubai who keep coming here. Oh. But I think, you know, we've traveled through the Europe, but this is like a virgin country. I think, you know, it's still not been polluted by too much of tourism and the beauty the natural beauty is like unimaginable so we went to we were in tirana we were in skodar we were in Teti, then we went to sarande then we came here now we're back to tirana so the day after we have a flight it's a wonderful country i think uh, when we're going to go back we have a lot of friends whom we're going to advise to come to tirana at least once to albania <laughs> Yes, can you tell me something about your experience here and where are you from? Uh, we're from England. Uh, okay, welcome. First time in Albania and we've been very, very pleasantly surprised by the friendliness of the people because 
I guess Albania in the UK has a certain reputation, but the reality here is very different. Yes, we so have the better reputation, but uh, it's uh, completely different, I yeah. think. So we've been very pleasantly surprised by the beauty of the scenery and uh, yeah, yeah, the nice country. Yeah. So I think we'll come back. Why do you, why, uh, do you want to see this tunnel? Um, why, what is your I guess fascination with the Cold War and maybe uh, how very different it is post-1991 and how it was before and I guess for 40 years the country was very, very different. So. We have no experience of that in England, it's very different for us. <laughs> so. but, um, we've been to East Berlin and Germany before, so, so yes, we've seen similar things. But what do you know about the Albanian, about the communism system in Albania? What do you heard? I knew about Enverhoja and then Tito in Yugoslavia, but I guess it was, I didn't know much about the Balkan situation. And I think Albania was slightly different to the other countries, so it had its own independent view of the world. So, but I don't know a lot about it. Okay. Uh, and I didn't know Enverhoja was from Jörg Kastor. Yes, he was born here yeah. and his house is returning to the museum. Okay, so can you tell me your experience, please? Uh, yes, well, this is our first time here in Albania. We are from Mexico. Okay. Hola. Hola, ¿qué tal? <laughs> <Como tales. laughs> so, well, I, uh, we arrived yesterday from Tirana. We took okay. the bus here to Jörg Kastor and we are enjoying. So, I think the best thing that we have and uh, new here is the food. We the love food. the food. Yeah. <laughs> you yes. like the food? <laughs> a lot, a lot. Okay. But what type uh, of food do you like? It well, before here we were on Romania. Okay. And there was a lot of pork and meat. And we need to uh, try something natural and likely, so we enjoy a lot the food yesterday. <laughs> but this kitchen is empty. Why you came here? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we knew that Girocastro was like a UNESCO heritage. Yeah. So that's something important to visit. <laughs> so more than that, we know nothing about Girocastro. Okay. Instead of the exceptional views and natural. So have you tried Raki? Yes. Well. You once, like it? Yes. <laughs> once before on, on Turkey. But not oh, here, but not but here. But it is uh, completely different. It's completely different. The Turkish Rocky and this Rocky is very different. I agree. Yeah. 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 You know. Yeah, yeah. I've, had, I've been having Rocky every day. Yeah. So it's, it's lovely. It's unique. It's just lovely. Okay, so, so, so I have to try it. Rocky you must to try it. Ah, okay, <laughs> I will. Okay. Thank you, bye. bye, bye. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you.